Hey guys, it's Leon Epp. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on this beautiful, beautiful dresser I found on Marketplace. I fell in love with the look of it. It just had a vintage style look and I really liked it. And once I saw it, I realized how heavy duty it was. So I'm very glad I got it. It only needs a couple things fixed here and there, but overall is very solid. I am going to give it a new look and I'm going to paint the whole thing. I am going to remove the finish from the top and I really hope you guys enjoy it. First thing is first, giving it a good scrub. And let me tell you, this piece was actually in really good shape. It wasn't even that dirty, but I always like to make sure to remove all dust and all grime because the last thing I want is to paint over anything that is yucky. The tracks on the drawers, not all of them, but a couple of them were had come off. So I'm just reattaching them with some wood glue and some brad nails. The bottom drawer, the corner of it had a little piece missing. So I'm just adding some putty to shape it back into a nice smooth shape and then let it harden overnight. I removed the finish from the top with a 60 grit sandpaper and the electric sander and then I moved up to a 220 grit sandpaper so that it smooths things out. After I dusted the dresser from all the dust from the sanding, I took a piece of a paper bag and I just folded it and just buffed out the top for a smoother finish. The color I chose for this dresser is a charcoal by Rustoleum. And um, it's not normally the colors that I choose. I usually choose white, but I have done a couple um, blue ones and that, but this is my first time doing this particular tone and I was not disappointed. It was actually a very beautiful color. Some of the drawers are a little swivelly when painting them, they're kind of moving in and out. I will add some drawer stoppers to them. A lot of, a couple of them had them, but a couple of them did not, so I just added some.
I'm adding the second coat and that's all I really needed. The two coats were sufficient to have a full cup. I'm distressing the piece with a 220 grit sandpaper and the electric sander. You can do this by hand, but I want the dresser to have a heavy distress so it's a lot quicker and easier with the electric sander. Now as I distress, you can see some of that whiteness coming through. It will be gone once you seal it, um, that white part kind of disappears. And here I'm adding those drawer stoppers that I mentioned earlier. I am now adding the first coat of polycrylic to the top. On the top I added four coats with a light sanding in between and on the rest of the dresser I added two coats. So here's what the dresser looked like before and this is what it looks like now. I'm so happy with this dresser. It is such a timeless vintage piece. I love the way that this dress is popping out through that color and overall it's just still such a solid piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. I hope to see you soon and I hope you have a very, very great day.